Peach. All right. <laughs> Wait, are we live now? Yep. <laughs> Yay! Hi, everybody. Yep. I am Satine Phoenix, happened. your dungeon master today on twitch.tv slash DD. We are Maze Arcana, and we are playing Fury's Reach Freedom to Adventure. God, it doesn't seem so free anymore. I'm so sad with the whole thing that happened last two weeks ago, even. Two weeks ago? Yeah, three weeks ago? Two, two, two weeks ago. I don't even ago. know. Um, I'm going to turn down this dungeon music. Oh, I want to say a huge thank you to D&D &D for having us here. Black Magic for these amazing cameras. Flow Light for these beautiful lights. And Wormwood for these very sexy dice trays and holders. I actually have my dice tray here. The tower I put aside because today I'm, I would prefer not to kill my friends on it. So um, I'm, just, I'm dice just putting tower it. Do it. It is. Do it. I roll really well. Yeah, you roll really well uh, with that. So you may have noticed that Misty is not here. Instead, we really? have. I thought she was. <laughs> you are pretending <laughs> to be Misty same, today. Same tattoos and everything. everything. <laughs> this is Kate. Uh, she, she was here on the first episode <laughs> playing awesome. uh, as the understudy for Kim's character, yeah. and so now she is here uh, for Misty's character Amina, and hopefully will not kill her. I'll do my best. She has 64 hit points. I think she's going to be okay. No, she well, doesn't. What does she have right now? She's she unconscious. She has zero hit points. Right <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So. Um, this is a short show because, so we're wrapping up right before 9 because at 9 I have to drive to Geek and Sundry for the Dread panel. It's their like one night only show. So we're going to make this fast you and exciting. You less talented and less popular so you can do fewer things. So, yeah. instead of, <laughs> so tonight is fast and Fury's Reach. Yeah. Because, and so here's the thing. I'm going to be nice to you all night. <laughs> Bartek. <laughs> was the one who was coming up with the names of the episodes. He was. And oh. he did not write... Can... can <laughs> he did not write a... a uh, Don't have me give a name because I'll pun it. No, you just did. Yeah. It's perfect. Oh, really? Fast and Furious yeah. Reach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I warned you, I'll pun um, but Way to go! But he did not name last episode, so... Um, during this episode, I will let the chat room name the episode. Oh? The dirge of Vartak? No, the chat room, not you. I You're can chat in the room. Hold on. I can no, you just get off your phone. <laughs> that is, you're supposed to be so, a captain. We are, we are very short on time. Yes. Why don't, why doesn't the captain tell us what happened last time? As soon as I can talk without getting drowned out. <laughs> uh, so last time we were going through the temple of Utau that had been abandoned. While we were exploring, we found a secret door. We found all kinds of nice little things and murals telling us the history of Ubtau and the land. Unfortunately, in the process, we were jumped by a bunch of bad guys, which included a horde of sort of snake abominations that Vartak ran up to and got mauled by and fell down. Yeah. And as far as we know, he just fell down. Yep. And fall down. in the process, they dragged him away. So we have to go rescue him, just like we did River Mist. And, but what happened to them? The What's going on since I've been gone? <laughs> uh, People River Mist been got kidnapped a while killed. back, and we saved her. We did oh, save her. saved him. Uh, her. River's a her. River's her. Boy. Yeah. I know more than you know at this point. What's going on? <laughs> I get them confused. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, but we saved her. Uh, so we'll have to do the same thing for our attack. Oh my goodness. But right now, because of the end of that fight, Amina was getting in toe to toe with some bad guys and got knocked over. We killed the last of them and we are going to pick up from there and heal her up and recover a little bit. We've got a small little area we can go to that'll make it less likely we get ambushed by 5,000 beasts at once. Yeah. There were only five there were thousands, thousands, thousands in a line yes. across there the were. room. They were, they were so lined up for a lightning bolt, I don't think it would have been hard to hit them all. But you know what? Rub it in. Is that Rub it happened? in. Did he spark? No, I no, was about was no to chance. attack. There was no chance. And he begged over. me. Oh, he no. begged me Fart to gust attack. of wind and he them did what away. He, he didn't do what he's supposed to do, which is hit and run. He just ran. He went ha. And yeah. And yeah I want to stop this conversation, but, but I feel yeah. like we really Sorry. need a moment. We need to No, we do. We need. We need a moment to talk about this because this was our well, my first on stream character death. Murder. Character murder. Murder. <laughs> and it was, yeah, it was very emotional. And it's been a couple weeks and it's still hard. I blame his D20. His D20 sucks. 
Yeah, um, he rolled a one. He rolled a one oh. on his second death save. So oh, it's yeah. not my fault. It's not yes. even his fault. He it's fell just down and we were dice. just trying to get over fate. to him. I had the healing potion in my yeah, hand. We were, oh we were going to get to him, but he just... What people I was the, a human shield on top of him. What so the audience doesn't know potion. is that I actually stopped the uh, stream for a second and mm -hmm. described how you can save and heal your players because Kim and Misty are both new. Uh, so... They were ready. They were yep. ready yep. to save them. We were primed. But I want a moment of silence for Vartak. And now we will get back into the episode. Are you ready? Yeah. OK. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, you look totally dead. It's no, great. No drooling. Or uh, unconscious. OK. That was amazing. <laughs> Yeah, she even put a fake tattoo on to match Misty's. <laughs> and great. That helped. Ah. Okay. Yes. So. Victoria's <laughs> secret, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not very secret. It's, it's not, not very secret. It's awesome. The last thing that happened. Yeah. Okay. The last thing that happened, uh, Amina went down. The captain was super upset and killed the last bad guy. And he does care. You're unconscious, you don't know that. No. <laughs> <laughs> and Kalithe is also up. Are you hurting? Are either any of you hurting? Barely. I have some hit points. Cool. Yeah. Um, how many healing potions do you have left? Uh, total, we've got eight. Okay. So there Plus is. Plus whatever river and uh, flask. flask have, but we aren't with That's them true. yet. That's true. So in this room, uh, you went to chase. The bad guy's out, there was a hooded fi figure, and um, the other folks followed him out with Vartak, and you made it to the end of the hallway, but the door was closed was. with no apparent doorknob. <laughs> I didn't have time to look for it because my guys were getting killed back there. That's so true. I had to run there back. was a lot of murdering happening. A lot of murders. Um, they moved which actually, if you fast. think about it, um, you guys murdered an entire room. Yeah. So I just want to point that out. I mean, <laughs> so I, mean I was moving. Exactly. I was moving really fast to catch them, but they, yeah. they moved really fast. So the days. ground is littered with these monstrosities, and I believe there was a grung in there as well. And, and then uh, the other guy. And the me. No, yeah, and you. So there, there was the grung, there was the other guy, and then the monstrosities, and then and the, more grung. the little grung off in the corner. Yeah, so... Um, the room is a long room with four pillars and an altarish type thing in the middle. And as you were fighting, the it was high and then it went down. Mm -hmm. And you turn around and it's back up. It's about not that high. It's like five feet up, like this, like altar level. And near the back left is where the pile of little green oh, grung are. And there is a hallway that way. Mm -hmm. But y Amina is bleeding out on the ground. Mm -hmm. hmm. I feel Amina, like we should give her a healing potion. Roll question. a death saving throw. Is that a 20? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 10. Okay. The minimum what you need. <laughs> all right, you're not dying, and you didn't roll a one, so we're all good. You made one of three. Um, the two of you, what would you like to do in this moment? Uh, Captain, I think I should share a healing, a healing potion. potion uh, I'm going to walk over and take a look down the hallway, see if anybody's coming and grab my dagger that I hit that guy with, um, just to make sure we're not being attacked while okay. she's feeding the potion to her. So, um, are you going to stealth over? Yes. I will stealthy stealth. Roll your stealth. My stealth is... 17. All right, you go very quietly, and you had, I don't remember where your dagger was. Yeah, it, was it was in the ground or in I, a person. I threw one of the guys who was trying to escape. But yeah. All right, oh. so you grab it, it's gooey, you pick it up, yeah. you clean it, pocket it. You look down the hallway? Mm -hmm. You look down the hall, and it looks like it curves a little bit off, but there is a light coming out from behind that. Okay. Uh, and the little grungs are still right there. All dead. Gooey pile of grungu. How was she doing? 
I'm feeding her the potion. Yeah. So healing, heal her for 2d4 plus 2, I believe is what we said. That is what we said. So I Three, right now. two, no. plus two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. So six, seven. seven. So you're healed for seven points, and you, uh, but you are still, still, you're still really groggy. Okay. Yes. Um. Mm -hmm. How is she doing? Uh, she's better, but still tired, sick, not well. She needs to rest. Mm -hmm. All right. So well, we can't go the other way. They're waiting for us out there. We'll have to go rescue Vartak as soon as we can get her back on her feet. Okay. Past the frog section, or yes, what? let's go down here. But let me take a quick look. I'm gonna stealth down the hallway and see see what can be seen around that little curve in the hallway. Uh, you see, there's a door partly open, and mm -hmm. there's light coming from it. And inside is just like jars and, uh, well, what you can see of it is shelves and some jars on the shelf, but you'd have to open the door to see inside. Okay. Captain, is it safe for us to follow? Um, I'll slip back. Okay. There's room down there. There's somebody in there. They were there before. Let's get her on her feet. Okay. Feet. Is, is she able to wake up? Feet. Now that she has hit points? You're, you're awake. Groggy. You're just groggy. Okay. Okay. Right. Shall we carry her with us? Yes. Let's, right. let's go. But I'll put my... The uh, captain can carry me. I'll put my arm around him. I have to... She's acting alive. very groggy. Oh. She's, she's acting very groggy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep us alive. <laughs> Have you ever noticed the captain's cute? I will carry you. It's fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank you. Um, you be ready with, I guess. Zappy thinks. Mm, you probably want to shoot something from a distance. Okay. A missile. Mm. I have an axe. Mm. Excellent. Yeah. Hold it Excellent. close. Excellent. <laughs> Let's not throw the axe anywhere oh. for a little while. Okay. Um, so. I mean, a roll a uh, constitution saving throw. Okay. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, sorry. Fifteen. Oh, good. Yay. No poisoned crazy. at this point. Hmm? No poisoned at this you point. You don't know me. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was told by our tabaxi friends that these guys are poison, nasty, bad snake people. That's it's true. The assumption I'm going under. <laughs> yeah. Snakes. Yeah, that was the snake people. Yanti. Hmm? You, you remember your, there was the Yanti yeah. monsters. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, you keep an eye on her. I will. Be ready if I shout for help. I'm gonna slip back down the hallway and stealth to the room, and this time I'm going to peek in. Okay, you peek in. We'll go with your, st your previous stealth. Oh, okay. You peek in, and you see what looks like a preparation room. There's a wall that has a bunch of like carving utensils, there's a big table in the middle that has straps on it, and there's just a lot of blood. Like a That's sacrificial like, altar kind of thing? Uh, you more like a preparation room for that kind oh. of thing, or an after aftermath For room. the altar in the room, maybe? Ah. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Um, there's like a little office in the corner, and um, what, roll a perception check. Mm -mm -mm. 15. And you see underneath, like, so the table's pretty high up, like six feet long. Mm -hmm. And underneath the table, the office table, like the desk that has a, papers and stuff on it, mm -hmm. you see a little grung. And he's got his bow out. And he's shaking. Mm -hmm. Doesn't uh, seem... Doesn't seem to see me yet? He, he sees the door open, but he doesn't seem to... Have be ready to let go. Um, I'm gonna use sleight of hand to snag a piece of rock off the ground. And um, okay, there's a little pebble in the corner. Okay. Uh, it's a collapsing old 
<laughs> Abandoned temple, sort of. I hope yeah. there was bits and pieces. Um, just yeah. so happens there is. I just grab it and I'm going to flick it into the room to see if he'll look towards it. Uh, I won't try to break a pot, but I'll try to make it clatter amongst some of the pots. Okay. So it makes extra noise. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Say 14, because I'm not proficient with rocks. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> it clangs and it like hits this jar and then like bounces and hits this other jar and you see this arrow whoop, right into the wall next in between two jars. <laughs> and then he's he runs out the other way like he's going to go past you. Oh, he's going to run towards the door where I am? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to be... I'm going to sneak attack him, but I'm going to try to subdue to, to capture him. Okay. Well, the same uh, thing three times in a row, you know that, right? <laughs> um, that's uh, 18 to hit. Okay. Are you going to grab him? No, I'm going to sneak attack and try to knock him unconscious. Okay. With your... Rapier hilt. Okay. Kunk. I just have to be clear, okay, for this. I understand. <laughs> oh, I completely understand why. <laughs> um, Pesky grung. Damn grung. For 17 points. Okay. So I'm, you're going to, like, hit him in the back of the head or something yeah. as you go? All right. That, yeah, that works. So you... <laughs> Girl, he's, he's yeah. the, the owl noise as he us. goes down, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> why is the animal he, he doesn't. He's not unconscious, but he is on the ground holding his head. Okay. <laughs> I don't speak wrong. Blah, blah, blah. That's how he speaks. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's on the ground. Uh, he's not. Out, unconscious, out. unconscious, okay. but he's... Then I'll, if he's on the ground, I'll point my sword at his throat and say, surrender or die. So, <laughs> he like pushes the sword away with his hand. Well, if he pushes away, I'll slide the edge across his hand. <laughs> surrender or die. Okay, roll to attack. Oh, roll hitting? Ad advantage, yeah. I mean, you might, you might miss. So. I miss his fingers on the blade. Uh, oh. You might just miss the Fif gauge. Fifteen. Yeah. Okay. No, sorry. Sixteen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is the correct. All right. So number. roll damage. Mm -hmm. For nine points. <laughs> you know, and now he's unconscious. Okay. <laughs> the pain knocked him out. You uh, you cut off his fingers, uh, fingers and Aww. he he fainted. Okay. Knocked out. Um, but he is not bleeding out. Okay. Because you wanted him to. Unconscious. Magic. Yeah. Pain, pain <laughs> magic. Dungeons and Dragons. Um, <laughs> then I go. Cleethi, come down. We're coming. I'm going we'll to walk up behind them. Him make sure not touching his slimy him. skins, because I saw what it was doing to her before. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did it do? Um, and good. Oh. bring him into the room. Is there any other exits in this room that I can see? There aren't any. OK. Come on in. We could probably stay here for a little bit to get her on her feet. OK. Um, I stumble in and I shut the door noisily behind me. I'm going to put him you, up on the table with the straps and strap him down. The door's closed. Okay. You feel like this is a safe area. Okay. Mm. That perhaps you could stay here for a while and not have to worry. Figure an hour or so. It's like a medical room, right? Uh, sort of like a ceremonial prep. Oh, okay. So we couldn't find anything to help her rest faster. Mm, we have to look. May we? I would like to look around the room. 
Uh, Captain, we should look and see if there are any healing potions or anything uh, to help. You do that while I secure the prisoner. Mm -hmm. Okay, roll Amina, investigation. Are you okay? I'm holding the door. Good job. Okay. Don't yes. get stabbed. Following <laughs> Nine. orders. <laughs> you ever seen these weird lights? Why don't, why don't you sit over here so you don't oh. get stabbed from behind? Sitting is good. Sitting is good. Sit down. You're really hungry, Amina. I'm really hungry. Yeah, you're. It's been a little while. It's been a while. You Do have you this, snacks? There, but there's one specific <laughs> taste you are Who's hungry that, that, for. The fruit, the fruit we don't have. We do not have any fruit. And it's kind of making um, you a little bit, not really irritated right now, but if you kind of feel like if you don't get it fairly soon, you're going to get upset. Any items on this little prisoner? Need some fruit. Um, you see some more arrows and a little pouch of what looks like Knickknack things. Um, I'll Marbles. replenish the arrows that I used when I, we rescued uh, River to make sure I've got a full quiver. But okay. other than that, uh, strap him down to make sure that he's not going to get away, and make sure he's not slimy enough to slip free of the little bracelets too. Okay. Is anyone else itchy? Do you have any of that fruit? I'm itchy. <laughs> <laughs> Your, uh, you notice that two of the arrows have poison tips on it. Okay. Set them aside. <laughs> they go in my quiver. <laughs> <laughs> now there's goo everywhere. <laughs> um, does the poison seem to be pre-applied, or is there like um, a, does he have like a pot on his belt where he dips like in? Pre. Okay. Yeah. Check and see if there's some reservoir for other shoots. <laughs> um, Doesn't look like Can I it. Ask if you did guys you, have any fruit? Did, yes. Did oh. you find you did, anything? Dear. I rolled. I rolled a nine. Uh, yeah, you don't really see anything comfortable here, and you I don't see any healing potions. You I do have a healing anything. potion. I have one left, but do I have one? We should hold still. You've yes. got three. Can I drink that? You might want to wait. We can oh. we can heal up a little bit with a rest. Bind your wounds. No, she had one. She drank one. One of hers. She drank one of hers. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I have one left now. Mm -hmm. um, are you? You have this. Shall grung strapped. Mm -hmm. I'm going to assume because you were being very careful. Actually. No touchy with the hand if you. Let's see how careful you were. There were some little pieces of fabric around. Yeah. Uh, sleight of hand. Mm -hmm. Boopie 19. Boopie. You are just so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow you have uh, Grung handling skills. <laughs> you get them Well, up. I've had a few ladies that have been inebriated at times that I had to handle carefully. <laughs> what women have you been touching that are slimy, Captain? <laughs> Didn't say slimy, I said slightly inebriated. <laughs> Not slimy inebriated. Perhaps the mermaids. Well, the selkies, yes. <laughs> the red headed mermaids. <laughs> red so, head? what? What? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Sorry. No, you can guys keep going. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing our DM. Uh, um, so yeah. So the the straps, um, there are lots of straps. It looks as if there have been many different size creatures on this platform table mm -hmm. situation. So uh, there's straps for large bipedal creatures. There are straps for small creatures, and just lots. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Well, we're going to rest until he wakes up, or Resting an hour, whichever comes first, uh, mm -hmm. to make sure the room doesn't have any sneaky cubby holes. I'm pulling out the lantern to do a quick check to see if there's any ways for people to sneak in on us. OK. Um, so you hold it up, and you do your light thing, and there are no uh, secret okay. places here. Mm -hmm. um, bind your wounds. Captain. I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do, uh, <laughs> since we're doing a short rest, I'm going to do a uh, hit die for healing. OK, cool. Um, so you guys can now heal uh, for your short rest. Right. You know how to do that? What are you rolling? <laughs> so you've got d10s. So you get six d10s. Mm -hmm. And okay. you can use up to six, but you don't have to use them all. You can roll them one at a time and determine how many you want. That's okay, the eight. If I even have. There we go. There That's we two. go. Recommend um, and add your con. You add your con times. to it. Eight. Well, you just roll it. So until just you're roll done. it and then so add it up to your yeah. Okay. Or until you want to stop. So that was nine. That was, that was a seven, six. that's a four. But you so add two. 11. I'll do that again. 
Right, but if you get to the... What do I have to, sorry, what do I actually have to reach? Oh, I have to reach. We don't have that to, That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. 11, You're trying 12, to get healed up. Gotcha. Ugh. Uh, Same thing for and you. Then you use and then add the Where is fire it? also. Your hit yeah. die by your hit points. See? D6s. D6s. This is what healing looks like. This is what healing looks like when you don't have a cleric. Yep. And this is the scenic there. route to healing. I'm fully healed after one. Oh, so we just roll as many as... As many oh. as you want up to how many you have. But you can roll them one at a time. Yeah, that was everything. Yeah. So, yeah. So I uh, you guys rest. The reason why you want to know how many oh, no you spent way. is after a long rest, you get half of your total back. After all of that, I'm up to my favorite number in the whole world, 42. Magic! Oh, it's a good it's number. Oh. Um, so, you wake wow. up. The grung's sleeping. He snores a lot, actually. He's got this weird gooey... Can I roll? Yes. Can I roll more than four? Uh, you can roll up to six. Okay. I'm still my and What would you like to do in this room with the grung and the, well, and the stuffs? I'm going to search the room to see if there's anything worth note. Uh, items in amongst the jars or... Some um, documents, maybe, as to what they used to do. Anything of use. Okay. So, go ahead and investigation. Are you doing it by yourself, or is anyone helping you? Um, I don't know. Is anybody helping me? I would love to help if it does not interrupt my rest. Mm, I feel help. like Am Amina is like you, on yep. it the moment he's. I'm, right here. I'm awake now. I yes. Feel and you actually do feel much better. Yep. That hunger is still in you, but you feel right-minded. Do you guys have any fruit? <sighs> Amina, darling, we still do not have any fruit. Did I ask that already? You oh. did many a time. <laughs> so, uh, get advantage. Okay, uh, 16. Okay, so you look around, you notice that there are pieces of body parts in some of these jars. Um, the jars are very clean like the way they've been treated. There's dust on the walls, but it's almost like somebody came in and has been clean, cleaning the jars um, mm -hmm. obsessively. You look over at the little grung on the table. <laughs> He's still out. Mm -hmm. uh, you get to the desk and you see lots of papers and um, you also find a journal. Mm. Journal. Captain, I found a jar with a toe in it. Is that what you were looking for? Not at the moment. Thank you. Oh, okay. We'll put it back to later. <laughs> yes. So the journal on the front says... Da, 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 da. I told you don't give me that. Says... Uh, Reef Ambrose. <laughs> of course. Who? Reef Ambrose. Spelled R-W-E-F? Yes, and you recognize this name because Vartak would go on and on and on about Reef and uh, and uh, Johan Wilder and oh, no. the books and all that. Vartak Amina like has. I don't like that look. <laughs> yes, so you found a journal. <laughs> oh, I no. get so excited sometimes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> My yeah. So you find a journal, and the papers around the journal, um, it looks like uh, some Yanti writing, um, some common, uh, like a lot of, the, some of the papers have been stolen from different places, and uh, the journal, you flip through some pages, and you notice the word Pulse of Chult. Gets my attention. Doink. Uh, is it, is roll it like, a d6. Is it like a, uh, a scrapbook where it's like outlined and it's got little hearts and stars all around it? Yes, exactly. There's some new, like newspaper clippings and stuff, but as the, like the last few pages talk about the pulse of Chult. Okay. Um, it looks like uh, they were trying to figure out what the mural was saying. The ones and, that we were looking at before. Mm -hmm. uh, says, a gemstone of great power that some say brought life to the land, a gift from Ubtau, something about using the energy from the village council. As a group, they were able to create rain and control the elements. And um, you just start reading 
you continue reading. Mm -hmm. uh, after more research, it turns out the village council members were magic users. Somehow they figured out how to charge the stone with magic. How they did this is unknown. Uh, and you remember, and you probably remember, uh, the images that mm -hmm. we were drawing, uh, or that I was drawing, that you were looking at. Uh, some, the entry, third entry says, someone took control of the council and used the stone for their own greedy nature, name mm -hmm. unknown. And um, roll a d6. I got a four. Uh, roll it again. Oh, another one? Got a five. Perfect. I'm really glad you rolled that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, that's never a good thing coming from a DM. No. <laughs> I think it's a good thing. Um, the next entry says, after following the Yonti, I've deduced that they are in possession of the pulse and have convinced some local tribe to help with a ceremony or ritual. It seems they might be on their way to an ancient temple under a mountain, east of a lake into the Hisari area. It is known the Yonti aren't able to travel through this area. They have gone under it via a network of tunnels, those crafty bastards. And the last entry says, there's something else about the pulse that confuses me. I may have found clues to something bigger going on. I must do more research to find the truth. It's getting pretty dangerous, but that only means the knowledge is more valuable. Captain, what are you reading? It's a journal of uh, Reef Ambrose. He, he was one of the adventurers that wrote books that Vartek used to read all the time. Huh. Um, he has some information on the Pulse of Chult that we're looking for. May I read? Yes, yes. Yeah. You all know, because Vartak goes on and on and on and on and on mm -hmm. about uh, Johan Wilder, who is this famous author and a character named Reef, a female character named Reef. Excellent. I read the book. No, I, read, I read the book. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you hear. Yeah. And there's some notes about other adventures that um, seem to correspond with some of the things that Vartak has said. I'm sure he'll appreciate it once we get this back to him. And Captain Network of Tunnels? Is this yeah, I don't think we want to go there. If yeah. that's where the Wan T are traveling, do we really want to spend time down there with them? I thought perhaps we were in this network. I don't think so. No, this not is not yet. potentially something connected to a network of tunnels? It feels kind of like a network of tunnels is all I'm saying. Maybe that other door in the first room, the one with the collapsed? Yeah. But this dead ends. There's no way out of here. OK. Hmm. Well, then perhaps we should get out of the dead end. <laughs> if we've uh, all recovered? Partially. As much as possible. I've recovered it mostly. Um, I think we should be able to make our way back out. Yes, I, I agree. I think and it's best. I don't know what time it is, but if it's dark enough, we should be able to make our way to their camp and rescue Vartek. Excellent. Yes? Do we get, shall we get Reverend Flask? Mm, we shall speak to them before we go and rescue him. Okay. Okay, what would you like to do? Uh, go to the door. I'm going to check to make sure there's nobody outside it. Pop it open. Perception check. I have eyeballs. But this all they work. It's very dark in no, there. This is Vartex shop. This is a very light room. It's very dark no, where you are. Not with that perception, I'm not. You uh, feel very safe. <laughs> you really are like this. There's nobody out there. How would they come in? I can't get out. I'm going to flick yeah. on the light real quick, just uh, so perhaps everyone could look a little harder. <laughs> okay. Just double check. Okay. So I'm shining so the light towards where we are going. So the, the light pops in in the middle of the room, and it looks clear. In the hallway? The hallway. Okay. It looks good. Let's go. Um, come with me. Yes, you stay behind us. Okay. Right. Move up into the main room that has all the dead bodies in it. Mm -hmm. uh, take a minute to go through the bodies to see if any of them that had items actually have any items worth keeping money-wise, gem-wise, weapon-wise. Uh, something funny you notice, all of these creatures seem to have a gash, a similar gash. The, the grung have it mm -hmm. as well. Like a um, brand the monstrosities. Or a mark. Looks like a brand. 
Mm. Um, but like a sliced or cut? brand. Yes. That. Both? Okay. Yeah. It's cut with a very sharp hot, hot blade. blade. Hot yeah, blade. it seems to go across like this. Mm -hmm. um, you don't find anything on them, just the normal mm -hmm. weapons that they have. Um, the monstrosities that you guys were fighting, mm -hmm. the five um, that were along the other wall, they look, they're disturbing. They're somewhere between human and uh, Yanti, but they're not, they don't all look the same. They look like they quickly changed. The result of a twisted magical experiment. Something. Something. Some twist is going to go in. Yeah. Um, where, the altar? How high is the altar now? Um, it's still the same height? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to walk over and check the top to see if there's anything there besides ancient bloodstains of the people who've been sacrificed there. Okay. Uh, investigation. Does anyone want to help with this? I shall shine the light. We'll help look. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll look as well. So um, because the three of you are actively up there together, mm -hmm. uh, triple advantage on Kyle. So you guys don't have to roll. He's going to roll. But you, the three of you are going to take your time. 14, 16, 17. Nice. Um, you don't seem to see anything on top, but you do. You put your head, like, look in the ground. You see where that crevice, like where the, that goes into ground. the ground. And you kind of see these gears. She shines a light in there. And you see like what looks like little gears. And you put your head down to the ground. And it sounds like you can hear this. Dripping noise? Or ticking noise? It's like a ticking, almost like a clock. Like a cog? Yeah. And you notice that if you follow it to like down the room. And mm -hmm. it leads down to the hallway that you came in. I'm going to look be like check behind us as they look after the cog thing. The noise goes down that way? Bless you. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> um, Bless you. The, it goes into the hallway towards uh, the door that closed. The secret door? Mm -hmm. um, checking, make sure while I'm down there that there's nothing in that hallway. While you're if down there? If it's empty, I'm going to go back looks to, empty. to the altar and see if I push on it if it goes down. Mm. No, not even a little. Well, do we not have a light that reveals secret keys and doors? I'm going to go and say, we need to go check on our prisoner. Oh, yes. Okay. Go back down, see if he's awake yet. If not, kind of take a... Yeah, you poke him and he's... I shine the light into his eyes just to be extra intimidating. <laughs> okay. All right. So he's sitting there. What? 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 What do you do here? I'm here to, to get you. Who told you to do that? Big guy. Where is the big guy? Well, nobody's here. It's just me now. But where do they sleep? Where would they take our friend? You're supposed to be one of them. One of the... Oh, he can't do that. Yeah. One of the... <laughs> <laughs> have the big inflatable... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are for that. To turn we into make one of those you things. <laughs> but where do they do that? Where would they take our friend to do that? If you let me go, I will tell you. How about you show us and we don't kill you? Or you let me go? Or do we do not kill you? <laughs> Roll intimidation. <laughs> With a look like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't that intimidating. <laughs> a 10. <laughs> or do you let me go? Um, <laughs> now. I'm going to try to use persuasion and go, look. It's in our best interest. If you help us know where our friend is, we won't be paying attention to you and you can escape your merry little way and not have to worry about those others 
coming after you for failing to capture us and kill you. Oh. Wow. We will undo this one strap on you so that you have a easier time getting out. Look, I see his face and he's just like... I got a 26. Of course you did, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Could you roll for me from now on, please? <laughs> yeah, right? Persuasion is one of my good, good, good skills. skills. Still. Yeah, yeah it's, so it's one of my stacks. He skills. looks and he's thinking about it for a moment. Plus he nine. goes, wow. Yeah. See those jars? Yes. I see a lot of jars. You see these jars in the corner that look like like a big li- jug that has liquid in it, something like somebody would pour. Okay. Uh, it goes south. They take south. They turn. <laughs> Do they use those jars? Or there are like many that? everywhere. Uh, I forgot what Lepad sounds like. <laughs> Lepad sounds like <laughs> Lepad. Lepad. Sounds like Lepad. <laughs> huh? You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. <laughs> I was channeling my Rudy. <laughs> um, Grung. A Grung Rutenberg. What is your name? <laughs> Sticky Leaf? Mosswood? No. Pointy stick? I don't need to tell you. Well, you can't make me. It's That's going close. to be hard for me to say, watch out, don't get stabbed in the head by that bad guy if I don't know your name. How about stink breath? Fine. Bob. Oh, that's Bob. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I saw what your kind did to her. Do not try that with us. You're not kill me? I will not. I might. I'm going to let you go now, but I can kill you with a thought. That's not... Okay. Okay. But we won't so long as you don't hinder us and you help us get out and help save our friend by leading us to where they were taken. They take to Mountain South. Who is and Mountain? The, mount, the mountain, wow. where the, the, m- the lake is. Oh. Right? Rock. Right. All right. Well. You let me go. I pull my blade out. And I flick the restraints free with the tip. Look at undo the straps. No, I'm not cutting it. I'm just oh. sliding up underneath the, the oh. buckles oh. and just flipping it out. And lean the point on his chest and go, you can get up now. He scrambles up and back to the end of the table, and he gets to the end of the table. And he's looking around, and he grabs a knife, and he's just like... I believe, I believe ours are a bit sharper than that. Do you want to put that Again, down? we're not going to kill you. You have to lead us out. I use my magic hand just briefly to pull the knife out of his hands and throw it in the corner. It actually slides out. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind Wonderful. of slippery. Yeah. Well, my weapon's down. Look. And I turn the light back on. Come this way. I'll, we leave Temple, yes. and yes. you let me go. Yes. Well, so long as you don't go towards where we're headed. North. You, <laughs> you can go anywhere except where we're headed. North. If that's where you want to go. You shouldn't go towards his friends, either. Um... That's where we're headed. I want to live. Oh, yes. Okay. I hear Port Yantharo is actually kind of nice this time of year. Oh, we're not allowed. I've seen some gun there. I have. In fact, I believe they work in a satchel shop. Oh, satchels. Yes. Oh. You could you you think you could work at a satchel shop? Wow. So what about the satchels that fly overhead with all the birds? Shop has benefits. Um, if you're an employee, yes, a discount, 25 yes, totally. Um, I don't. Uh, there's lots of satchels. Yes. But I don't know. I'm sure you could find a job there. Be careful. I hear that they're suspicious of your kind, though. Yeah. I I'll tell you what. If you make it there, go to my ship. You have a ship? Yes. And wait there until we get there. And from there, you can decide whether you wish to go back into the jungle or stay in the port or possibly even go with us. 
Captain, is this not, a good thing? Not kill me. Not I kill go me. north. Yes. Okay. It's called the Sea Sphinx. It's in the port in Antara. Sea Sphinx. Yes, close enough. He like gets up, stands up. Bob. Bob. I'm going to trust you at your word. If not, it will be painful. So we trust I mean, each other. Off <laughs> <again>. <laughs> so we trust each other. Yes. Yes. Mm. Deal. Yes. Deal. Deal. You sold me on it. All right, let's go. Shall he's all proud of himself. I don't know. He's like, <laughs> he's, like he's like kind of proud of himself. So I, I sold him on it. That's Good. great. Yeah. Good job. Let's go. He's got this little strut in his step. And he walks through and goes to the secret door and just stands there. And don't you know how to get out? <laughs> You've never left here before? They, I don't open the door. Who does? They, the, the, and the big ones. Big guy. Yeah. How did they do it? All right, I guess we'll have to figure that out. Come with us back into the room with the altar. Okay. All right. Back to the altar. Trying <laughs> to figure out the, the secret latch. Okay. <laughs> How would you like to do that? Um, <laughs> that's what I'm going to start looking at. Uh, you said that the... I was going to circumvent all that with the person who actually worked there. Um, I believe... We were looking at uh, the Khalifa gears. already told you. Uh, you said that there's a gear? There is a gear. And it says it goes off... It goes, it runs to the door, which makes me feel that perhaps the item that shows secret blue, purplish light that we carry around with us for whatever reason, might it come in handy? It will show us the door that we already know is there. Yes, might it show us some form of key to get through the door? Perhaps at the altar that is connected to the door by a giant pair of gears? It didn't the last time, but hey, let's give it a try. We might as well. <laughs> Yeah, I'll pull out the lantern to see if it shows anything besides the secret door that we know. Um, go ahead and roll investigation on this one. And yes. I will turn off my light while we do this. Do you want to help? I will help also. <laughs> All right. He gets advantage. 14. Uh, what you see is the door. Mm -hmm. But upon taking your time and looking, you see where the, that weird mechanism in the ground, uh, like there was like a thin line where the stone seems to meet one another, mm -hmm. and it follows its way into this crevice on the ground next to the door, and it looks like there are some shinier objects in that little corner. And if you slide of hand, Do they you look might like be able to... Buttons or? It's more like... Like gears underneath, so maybe. Oh, I see. It's like if I can fiddle with them and try to. If pop only them. we hadn't cut off somebody's fingers. Okay. <laughs> I got a twenty-four. So you manage to figure out how to do it. You get your little rapier and you kind of dagger. Your dagger, whatever <laughs> pointy item yeah. that you want. You <laughs> slip it in there. You hear this. Well, I use my thief tools if you want. Oh, you have thief tools. I don't know what you have. Swashbuckler. Well, then you definitely <laughs> use your thieves tools and click, 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 yeah. click, click, click. It takes a little bit of time. It looks very advanced, but also very mm. old. Old, yes. Mm. Um, and the door. My light is back on. Am I going to have to pick it the next time? Or do I know how to open it without picking it? You, you'd have... From what you can see, that looks... If you were to be trapped in that room again, you would pick that area. I mean, you remember how you got in. Yeah, we pushed okay. that gem, but yeah. I'm just wondering how they got out so fast since they didn't have time to pick this lock. You don't really seem to have seen that I know. with your 14. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't the investigative one. That was the other guy. Um, <laughs> um, so now you are in the mural room. I was the one who talked people into stuff. I know. Like Bob, who's happy now that he's leading us out. He's very proud of himself. He's so proud. He gets all, he's strutting, he so we're continues in the walking. Room. Yeah. Bob? Rock. Do you know much about these murals? All right. Just in checking. Now let's head on out. He's like, let's, let's. And you slip out to the big room with a big, big room. Spooky. You see Samson and. Oh, that's outside. Yeah. 
That's after we go through the big room that had the collapsed doorway. Oh, well, you're in the big room right now. Oh, okay. You're in that big room where the collapsed doorway was on the other side. Okay. They are um, on the far end of the room, Samson and River. So they Fox. are. They're at the entrance. What yeah. was the name of your courage? Courage and Samson are uh, by the door, and they are eating something on the ground. Is it River and Flask? I'll go over and look. Uh, what you see is Vartak's bag, and there, there is jerky. Oh dear. I snap, get Kurt's attention. Sit. And I go and I pick up some of the food that's fallen out, throw a couple pieces to them, grab this. How did this, hmm. anything else nearby besides the bag? Mm -mm. I call to Samson, Samson, sit as well. He looks at you. Now. Did you teach him how to sit? Do what the other is doing. I just, uh, roll animal handling. <laughs> I just, I just Samson reach is up, smarter than I all the other dinosaurs. Reach up and I just had courage. <laughs> so Kyle's been training. Uh, <laughs> 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 he actually sat and has been tra like training his I rolled uh, a his ride. But oh, my you, dinosaur's I, I, smarter I, I, than all I the mean, others. I mean, it killed two dinosaurs already. <laughs> yeah, you already took out two of them. Yeah, what you did I just do? keep dropping she, she, them. She, she, <laughs> she didn't kill one, they just ran away. And then yeah, yeah, but the other and one the other she ran, ran off. off a bridge and it fell yeah. hundreds of feet to his death. Yeah. But she did leap off of it to she, her she, safety. She, she did use it as a springboard Good so not to die. Great. <laughs> pushed the dinosaur <laughs> down. Although, further down. Yeah. More I do have betrayal. another idea if we hit that encounter again. Oh, cool. I'll take it. Where's the jungle? Because the wind can blow people 15 feet. Oh, yeah. So jump. Ooh, the jungle sounds. Okay. Yeah. I rolled a 10 in animal handling. He looks at you. He eats one of the jerkies that he throws at him and just looks at you. Has no idea what you're uh, saying. Pick up the bag. I roll my eyes and I roll my eyes ignore. Pick up the bag <laughs> and slip outside and say, "Wait here." And I'm gonna sneak uh, roll outside. perception check. Okay. No, I got a ten. Awesome. You pick up the bag and you go outside. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stealth outside and tell them I tell them to wait. Roll right it. Here and stealth out. Uh, I got a 10. <laughs> so quiet. It's the bag. Um, there's lots of birds. Uh, I'm just looking birds? out to see if River and Flask are anywhere nearby. You don't see them. Oh, you yeah. do see Satine. Okay. Where is she? She's just off, like, okay. um, like laying down. I'm going to slip back in. Um... I don't see River and Flask, but I do see Satine out there. Mm. Maybe is they, she tied down or is she running loose? She seems to be relaxing at the moment. Yeah. Um, do a quick inventory in the bag. What's missing? Um, looks like all you have in there is... Um, sorry, i got to turn these birds down. <laughs> Does anyone else? Uh, birds. Brain uh, damage, because I'm hearing gibbons. It's weird. Yes. Okay. <laughs> is that because I was unconscious? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Lots of food. Is it missing? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Captain, I fear I feel we should tie down the dinosaurs so as no one is watching them. We should probably ride them. Bob? Rob. Which way to the mountain? South. We are leaving River that and Flask? Um, south, south. He, uh, he, he looks at the trees and south, and he points this way, north, and he starts walking. I think we're done. Bob, and he walks. have a safe trip. I have an eye that I am watching you with as you walk. <laughs> <laughs> he runs off into like the jungle. It's not track too much. Attention. What time of day is it? Oh, shoot. I don't remember what time of day it was. It was it's been a while. It was evening-ish like, when we went in, right? No? It is dark. Okay. Very dark. You've been in there for quite a while. Okay. At least two hours, or an hour. More at least an hour. Yeah. Okay. Two hours. Yeah. Then I, we should not find River and Flask? We, it's going to be very hard in, in the dark. We can't leave them here, surely. We will not. Okay. 
I was looking to see if they're around, but while I make sure there's nothing else missing, uh, you might want to go grab Satine. Yes. I walk over and grab Satine. Are you, is anyone else looking, or are you just going to... Amina? Outstanding way to board is kept. Keep an eye out and see if you see anything. I'm going to... Weapons drawn or sheathed, Captain? Drawn. So I'm going to check and see if I can find any evidence of them. Mm. All right. Uh, are you taking Kalithe with you? No, she's going to go over to, uh, to Satine. And since these two can't sneak very well... Uh, I can true. be subtle! She <laughs> says loudly. Yes. Um, I'm going to slip off in the shadows and see if I can track down anybody in the area, because I'm not thinking they'll ditch us, but I'm thinking that they're hiding when the big beasties showed up. Okay. So, uh, perception or investigation, whichever is higher. Uh, perception is higher. I got <coughs> 21. Um, you walk around the perimeter. You take, uh, takes about 20 minutes. Uh, you're, you're concerned. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen them, um, but you find them hiding um, I underneath. Got a 26 natural 20 in my stealth. Of course you did. <laughs> of course you did. You know. Very quietly. But you take 20 minutes and okay. finally you find the, the two tabaxi and they're, uh, they're shaking and they're underneath this like, uh, what looks like it was a pillar that has fallen and then oh, there's overgrowth on it. You're very quiet. You, you move the, the brush and they're like, <gasps> And they pop out and they hold you. And I wrap my arms around them. Aw. You're safe. We go now. We go now. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's very dangerous. We have to go rescue Vartek. Vartek? Yes. They, they took him and, and the, this, there's, there's all these creatures and it was very scary. You did a good job hiding. Come on, let's go back to the others so we're safe. It's not safe here. There's there was like monsters, and there was that that the wizard guy, and and there was another guy with some the hood, and they were talking, and he, and they said they were going to take him, and and there was it the other guy from the beach. It was it was the guy um, who kidnapped me. Yes, that one. Yes, he was talking with a man, and he and the man had one of those like Vartak, the satchels. Oh yes. Yes. Hmm. Well. But we should go home. We can't go home without Vartak. We've got to go get him, and we've got to go get the gym. They're going to do bad things with the gym to everyone on this island. I don't understand. Come with me. I'll explain it as we go. But uh, we're going to have to spend a little more time in the jungle. And we're going to have to get more food as we go. Okay, we, we could find food. And just to let you know, those big fruits that you brought, don't let Amina know that you have them. I'm, I'm concerned about the fact that she's been a little too addicted <laughs> to them. <laughs> just so you know. But they're good for you. They are good for you. For her, I don't think quite so much. But it's good that you're, you're going to come with us. Thank you. Come on. After we get this done, we can all go to the ship and you can come with me to other lands. Okay, well, how far are we going? Because we should, I don't, we, sh we don't have much um, supplies. We don't have, su we, g we have enough to go home. We're going to have to stop somewhere on the way back to get more. Or we're going to have to find more as we go. Okay. But do you know where the mountain is with the lake to the south? Mm. I'm going to pull out oh. the map. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to point over to where the beacon is. I believe it's over here. Okay. The beacon? No, the, the mountain with the, the lake. I believe it's over here. Okay. So, oh, that's... It's a little far. That's so, that's so far. It is. That, that's going to use all of our resources. Not all of them, but about half. It seems to be... I write it down. It seems to be quite a few days. This, this one's seven days further. Seven days that's further. That's seven days. So it take half of our two weeks back to get here. It was seven days down, and there's another seven days. 
No. Da, da, da. Yeah. Um, so we're going to have to get food on the way back or on the way. Well, if we take our time, then, then we might be able to find some, but once we, get we there, don't we know this part back. very well. We, we haven't gone this deep or deeper than, than right, this. Right now we have to go and rescue Vartak. That's what's important. If we, we can make some stops along the way, on the way back, but first we've got to get there and get the gin before they do something bad to him with it. Do you see the big, there was big things. Okay. There's, they had like this, and then they had we like snake faces. We killed some of those. Yeah, the Yanti are very bad. They are. They hurt people. They do. Unlike the Tabaxi, which we all like. And they go and they meet up with you guys, mm -hmm. and they're very concerned about Vartak. Um, they see that you guys have his satchel, and he, like, what? Ooh. <laughs> Is that your belly? Do you need to eat? That's Amina's belly. Right. I'm not sure there's some berries. That's not what I want. What is <laughs> River goes. There is plenty of jerky. Not so much. There is a little jerky. <laughs> yes. Are you guys going to set up camp? Uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to move away from this The creepy giant temple thing. The, where the monsters come? Yes. <laughs> we're going to move off. Um, and find a, a safe spot. Okay, it's in the middle of the night. Would you like to go south? Uh, towards the, the lake. Okay, you find a little area. So you go south. Um, the mountain. Mountain lake mountain. area. Um, you hear all these noises. It's jungle nighttime noise. Thank you, mm -hmm. Sirenscape. Yay, <laughs> um, You make your way down about like 10 minutes. The tabaxi find a little area for you. And um, you do have water left in the in that big satchel. Okay. Um, you have food there. Uh, Amina, roll me a Constitution saving throw. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. You like, you, you drink a lot of water, and you actually feel a little bit better. You're not really craving it so much. But kind of like cookies, you know, and you're just like, it's always in the back of my yeah, mind. this one is definitely in the back of your mind. Um, but you're you're actually pretty you're yeah, pretty okay right. right now. Yeah, you guys are getting ready for bed. Um, you you mm -hmm. have the um, you have courage and Samson and Satine and uh, left, I believe. Mm -hmm. And so those are the four mounts you have. And you guys go to sleep. We'll put up watches like normal. Like normal watches. And nothing throughout the night. Okay. Uh, you wake up and... Long rest, so we get... You get all your stuff back. back. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Um, so you get Everything three. back now. Wait. We'll get 32 back, so I'd be back. Oh, hit points? Oh. Um, but yeah, but you get three, your hit die back. The hit dice that you spent to heal? You so used all six of those, right? You Did you use all six? Yes. So now you have three. Oh, I see. Gotcha. I didn't, I didn't, I've never used that. that. What were you talking about? Where it, did where you I use that process? That's the word, yeah. I've not used that process before. So um, I believe, Kalitha, you have your spells back? I have all my spells back, and I have zero hit points. Zero you mean you points? have all the yes, hit points? Yes, because I just noticed in plus three that I didn't apply. Oh. Yeah, which is good, because I was at five, and now I guess I'm at uh, zero. <laughs> so, you guys are... What a great day in the jungle. Yeah, the, the sun is shining, and you, the tabaxi are actually very anxious. How much water did we get with the rain catcher? Um, you're full of water. You're okay. not worried about water. Okay. Um, I asked River and uh, Flask, do you know of any um, plants that could be useful against uh, toxins? An antitoxin, perhaps? Poisons? Yes. Oh, there's, there's some, 
simple ones. Uh, we can go find it if you like. No, just when we're, when we're traveling, uh, keep an eye out. I was thinking if we're going to be encountering these snakes more often as we head towards them, we might want something to fight any poisons. Oh, um, we can try. Okay. Would you want us to find the berries again? Yes. Okay, uh, they go off. You guys are moving south. Huh. Uh, they go off. One Can we do moves. any foraging while we go to? Okay. You guys go off. It's, it seems, today seems very easy. Um, how are you navigating? How are we navigating to where we're going? Um, trusting the guides somewhat, but I'm also checking the, the beacon, make sure we're heading towards it. Um, climb to the top of a tree when we take our breaks. Okay. We're walking towards a mountain, right? We're so walking. we should look for the mountain. Turns out, mm -hmm. the, your periscope... Spyglass? Your spyglass goes directly to that mountain. It's where they took the gem. I'm assuming that's where the gem is. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Uh, yes. So you continue your way down. Let's see what time it is. It is 8.20. It's 8.20 right now. Okay. So my eye. So. Your eye? Good. Nothing. First Iris? day, you're making Cornea. it. Finger. Um, Finger. Everyone roll constitution saving throw. In the seven. 11. Dirty 20. Uh, you forgot to remind the ladies to put their insect repellent on. And they're itching. Oh. Did, you, did you not use your insect repellent? Oh, <laughs> what again? Why? <laughs> oh. Sillies. Um, it's been itchy for days! Ladies, go ahead and roll a d6. Uh, I don't like that. Did I? Two. <laughs> okay. Do I get any bonuses when I roll these bonuses because of my spell class? See. Nope. <laughs> this is not a new thing, but a roll on the chart roll to see how badly you got messed up by the bugs. Yeah. Mary? Let's see. What did you roll? Two. Oh. I think I've lost well, several It points. makes me feel better to know someone has it worse. That's well, nice. She, <laughs> she caught a disease the first time. I did. Oh. It was like a flesh-eating insect bite. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I don't even think I rolled as bad as a two. Oh, so cool. it was, you rolled a two? Yeah. And three. And three. Um, on the d6? Yeah. So you see her starting to scratch two hours into your traveling. And you're looking at what she's doing, and you see that thing that you had. You, she has it, like, right here. And then about an hour later, Khalife. You feel in the scratch. They're actually, they keep rubbing themselves, but you don't notice it, Kyle, until right. they both start going like this, and they both turn pale. Uh, they need to stop moving for a moment. Uh, the tabaxi look and go. Did they forget to put on their insect repellent? Captain, this is a good stop for a rest place, yes? I don't think we have much of a choice. Yes, good, nice. So you guys stop. <laughs> you, the tabaxi grab the mounts, they find a nice little area. They put, put them aside. Uh, well, how would you, you like to rest? <laughs> um, well, I'm going to be tending to the ladies. Um, perhaps you could look for some food at the same time as um, maybe some insect repellent for them. To, well, I think that they have some. Anything that, <laughs> anything that you could think would be good against this problem? Ointments. If you, I'll use that if I have to, but do we have anything in the woods, in the jungle that might help against this? A fruit or fruit. something? Fruit. Fruit? Do you know one that will to work to cure that? Yeah, fruit. Which one? This one. And they pull it out, and it's your fruit. And I'll snag it. <laughs> Captain, where did that come from? I'd really like to have some. If I could have some, please. So I'd really like to put some in my mouth. If I could eat some, just right now, just the a inside. Bit. The Give her the middle. Inside. Yes, the middle. And does she need to eat it, or do we rub it on that? It she mouth? eats it. I could eat. I could eat some. Can I have it's some? Very please? good. For, it's good for all of you. I've been wanting some for a while. Actually, it's been like several days. I feel bad. She um, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> cut it up. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I mean, a roll a d20, 15 or higher, and you just count them. 12. 
<laughs> okay. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, I, I, I'll use acrobatics to keep it out of her. Okay. Keep it out of her hand. Slide of hand. All right, I, do I, it. I don't know what you're looking at. Acrobatics and sleight of hand. That's what you're gonna use. Uh, Doing like the little kid thing, like yeah. you can't have uh, it. Can't have it. Acrobatics is a twenty-three. Okay. Just a taste. It's like a tiny piece. Sleight of hand is a twenty-two. Okay. So you're doing the juggling thing, and you're like, okay, no, I'm sorry. Just um, flip it up over my, still, I don't have it, throw it up over my what? head. What? Where'd it oh. go? I don't know where he took. Everything's so itchy and confusing. Um, I'll cut it up, and I'll give them some of the center. Oh. Eat that slowly. Thanks. It, swallowed yeah. it. She swallows it whole. Careful, that has some... Odd properties. I do not have an addictive personality, Captain. I'm um, fine. And the outside was the stimulant like stuff, right? Get your eyes off the my fruit. The outside is sweet. Right, that was the one that. No, I'm asking for peace. The outside is the stimulant that made us feel all energetic when we ate it, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep that till tomorrow. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he gets up, up and going. <laughs> okay. Um, so I feel it's better! midday. You you feel better. It actually takes. You're still itchy, and yeah. it takes a while for it to stop. It's not a magical Placebo thing. Yeah, like, oh, no, great. Um, so you eat it. Yeah. You're taking mm -hmm. your time. The uh, tabaxi, or should we give, go get more? Or should we look yes. for we, medicine? Yes. What would yes. you like us to do? Uh -huh. well, the antitoxins would probably be best. Okay. We've got enough now. Make sure you put your insect repellent on. I don't want to have to deal with this tomorrow. I apply my insect repellent. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, look, we have Vartax in here. Aww. Hello. <laughs> Can I tell you a riddle mm -hmm. about this jungle? I've heard many tales about it. What is this thing? Oh, we have Vartax insect repellent in here. Oh. That's true. Let's see, where is my... I just got a new app. Oh, I no. Got, I, I have an iPad, and it's my D&D iPad. Are you using D&D Beyond? No. Not for this. I got my account today. Okay, so what has happened? Yes. All right. <laughs> okay, so you guys are resting. Uh, mm -hmm. Ladies, you have, you're exhausted. You have one level of exhaustion. Um, you are starting to feel better, um, but you, you need a moment. You need a, a couple hours to rest. Flat River and Flas go off to find some stuff, you're resting. Captain is slightly annoyed, he has to wait, and Vartak has been taken south, and it's just eating time. Uh, luckily, you caught the ladies pretty fast, so you don't feel like you're gonna need to wait all night. Okay. Um, roll a perception check, everybody. Uh, ladies at disadvantage. Mm. Because you're got a level of exhaustion. Oh, man. <laughs> Did a 20. Did you roll a 20? Surprise! Kyle rolled a 20. Um, I got a 4 and a 16. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dang it. So you got a 4. Yep. Um, 12. Okay. Just wanted to make it clear that the disadvantage You're the really first hurt. one to hear. Footsteps. Tap dancing. Running. <laughs> you hear so much running like from more than multiple creatures. Multiple creatures? And you like see. Doesn't sound peoples. big, okay. but what you see first is River and Flask just booking, and they come okay. right through the camp. Run! Oh dear! And you see behind them the brush is just. Yep. It's about to run or climb up a tree. Run. Okay. Um. Roll initiative. Everybody, roll initiative. Everybody. Roll twenty. No. Add, add your initiative. What'd you get? Aha, uh -huh. 14. 14. I got a 17, but where's mine? Oh, yeah, 20. Nice. I got a 22. Awesome. So uh, you see River and Flask, and they run, and immediately, what do you guys do? I, uh, you see this the brush behind I them. I run, pull the stakes up for the mounts, yeah. and start running with them, trying to, to climb on with acrobatics. Okay, roll it. Animal handling Did you just and grab acrobatics. All of the <laughs> okay. How many are there right 
Four. Four? Okay. Animal handling or acrobatics? And both. Oh. So animal handling, because they hear it. Uh, I got a 10 on the animal handling, and on acrobatics, I got uh, 15. Okay. Uh, you pull the stakes up, but the animals are too scared. Even Courage runs, mm -hmm. and they scatter, and they pull their, the stakes right out of your hands, okay. and you can't even make it to do any acrobatics. But they take off in the direction that River and Flask have gone. Uh, in that way. I think we should run sideways and get out of the way and so then you're run running this way alongside the madness so you're running forward yeah oh, no, you're like, running forward I'm and gonna Kim, go you're an running angle away we'll say Don't. right or left which way would you like to go the groove <laughs> no 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 <laughs> this is you yeah. already made his move so are you going left or right left so you're going at an angle like just this? Just on an angle, not a big angle, just out of the main okay. line of so you're, the So you guys are moving like double speed at this yeah. point. You're just booking it. Yeah. Um, you had a, a, what? I triple speed. Oh, you get triple speed. Yeah. Um, so the ladies were laying on their bedrolls, uh, whatever bedrolls are left. <laughs> we don't have much left to sleep on. <laughs> um, uh, so you leave yours behind. OK, um, again. <laughs> yeah, so whatever was left, there's Move what, back. like two left now? Um, four. So four left? There were four. Okay. Oh, I've got Vartex. Oh, and I just left it behind. Darn it! <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm watching Captain, so I see him jump up and all that stuff, so I'm going to follow him, but as I jump up, my hands grab the nearest bags that are with me, so that's mine and whoever was next to me, whether it's Vartex or one of them, I grab both of these and I just start running after the Captain. And the animals are scattering, and I'm at least trying to like make big movements to keep them going the right direction. That's all I'm doing, is just running. Okay, so you had yours and Captain. Bag and whoever bag was next to me, I guess it's yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All and right. Just like, huh. And you start running. <laughs> yeah. And you're pretty strong, so you yeah. can do it. Um, you guys are taken off. All of a sudden, you see a small horde of goblins running after you. Everyone, roll a perception check. Oh uh, you look back and you keep running. You look back, you keep running. You hear this, just these squeals and screeches, but, 14. huh? 14. 18. Kyle. 15. 15? 14. 14. 18. Perception is not my best skill. I know. Uh, you guys are like, just focused. Because you've gone off to the side, you look back and you see these goblins, but they don't look angry, they look frightened. Oh, no. Uh. And so you hear they're running. They're like the Batiri that you saw earlier. They're running, 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 running. And then you see the, bro the trees, trees up above them just. I'm really glad I didn't climb a tree. <laughs> <laughs> so behind them and up you see. So um, what are you doing? Uh, have I caught up to River and Flask yet? Uh, yes, you have. OK. Um, as we're running, what is it? Spiders! <laughs> and you guys are running and running. Oh man, it's kind of close. <laughs> okay, so what are you doing? Uh, Actually, that was that was a conversation. So, <coughs> I mean, <coughs> that was a conversation. What are you Four doing? Words. Pretty much a sentence. Yeah, I'm yeah, just continue to run. Okay. Any, I, I, any openings or anything, any place where we can get it not under the trees? It's all jungle, it's dense jungle. You are very deep in the jungle at this point. As I'm running, I would like to throw a wall of water between the goblins and the spiders. Aww. Okay. All right, um, nice. do that. So, Hopefully. just to remind, it's a, uh, I can do it from 60 feet away, and it's sure. 30 feet. But uh, 30 feet long, one foot wide, and 10 so, feet high. Okay. Ooh. And how high are the trees? <laughs> They're forests. Like, you, it goes really high. So, I mean, it's dense, right? So they're low and they go up really high. Okay. So you can maneuver all of that however you want to maneuver. So I'm just going to try, I'm going to try to make sure it actually hits as many and drowns as many of the spiders as possible, but it'll be at the very, very front of the spiders. And... 
Um, if they're in the brush of the trees, then I'll probably like jump up and do it from, Ooh. because I've got a 60 foot range on it, so I'll just do it as high okay. as I can to kind of get the main main brush you're, section. So where the you've been up. running, right? Yeah. So you're off to the side, and if you just kind of keep moving in that, you I'm can paralleling actually... them now. Like I kind of angled okay, off, cool. and then I've kind of come around, and I'm running along. So uh, yeah. So you're along the side of them, yeah. and you see them. You do see that the spiders are wider than than their little chunk of goblins that are yeah. running forward. Yeah. And um, you see like them, and then they disappear and then pop back up, oh, and wow. disappear and pop back up as they're running. Like, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> shush. <laughs> Cal, I know what <laughs> um, uh, And when you see them pop into existence, you see they're like an iridescent, but like, peacock colored. They're, they're, you've never seen anything like this before. They're, and you throw up your wall. Die, rainbow spiders! <laughs> <laughs> Die, glitter <pants>. And <laughs> you see some of them hit it, and some of them go past, but it's really hard to see exactly what's happening. That wall of rain is just is pretty solid, mm -hmm. um, but the trees are in there, and they're flopping around. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> Those birdies are look awful happy. I know, jeez. Uh, so, what do you do? I'm still running. I can't think of anything. I've got two bags in my hands. I haven't even caught up to the beasts yet. I haven't caught up to anyone. I'm just still, I have to keep running. There's nothing else I can really think to do, what I think. Okay. Yeah. I like uh, that you're running like that. Yeah, with the bag. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many it's of like them Like a thunderbird <laughs> run. Huh? Hey, as we're yelling, running, how many of them did you see? Are you talking to Kim? No, because she's not anywhere near us. Oh, oh it's true. River, and, river flask. and flask. There are dozens! Touch, 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 touch. Yep, we gotta keep running. I have nobody to tell to do things. <laughs> oh, sorry, I separated from the group. No, 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 I'm just busy putting up a wall of water to make uh, it you, you, you can do anything. Are you going <laughs> to call for courage? Um, I'll whistle as we go. Okay. Uh, advantage animal handling. Eighteen. Okay. Um, so you whistle, and he does this like thing, and he circles back to 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 scoop you up. Okay. So acrobatics. Very cool. It all happens so fast, but you run really, really fast. I uh, got mm -hmm. a, a dirty twenty. Awesome. You do this like one of those horse things. He runs, boom, boom, yeah, boom. Just, just bounce off of a tree as he yes. runs under the little parkour. Nice. <laughs> so uh, you do that. The uh, you see him. Dad! 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 So are you gonna kind of go up and around and grab uh, her? How, where are the other mounts? Are they they're they're up. way far. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, since I'm gonna circle around to kind of grab. Okay, on your next round, yeah, you can do that. On her. What would you like to do now? You threw up your wall. It seemed to stop some of them, but there are still more coming through. And as as I'm some from just behind, lightning bolt the stupid things. <laughs> Kyle, I, I wish he could nod Kyle with his eyes. Yes. <laughs> Um, all right, so I, I'm going to take a, a, a running giant leap in the air and align myself with the, the dent, densest portion of them that I can and smash through them with a lightning bolt. So it all happens so fast. And so you jump in the air, but when you use it, you can fly, right? Uh, I mean, I can fly 10 just, feet with any magic. She, well, she can... Yeah, boost yourself. Yeah. yeah. So you boost yourself up, and you go ahead and make it. D it's a save. Yeah, save. DC well, then 13. what is it? I'm, I got it. Yeah. No, you don't roll that. But you got a natural twenty, which is nice. But <laughs> just of no use to anything. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I rolled. A DC for the... what? Thirteen. Uh, roll the die. Seven, My bad. Five. Fourteen. Hmm? Oh, that makes a big difference. Okay. Um, okay. Seven and five. Twelve. 
Yep, I can do this. <laughs> five and s five. Excellent. So, 22. 22. Awesome. Do you see... Did I mention I'm in Mensa and I can't do basic math? <laughs> it's different when you're under different pressure. They let everyone skills. in these days. <laughs> you jump up and you do your little, like, another five feet boost and you see them and they're uh, the ones that have come across the, the wall of water. Uh, you see them all just kind of appear, and you go, and it just it looks like they all fail. It bounces off them. It no, goes through it them. Goes through them one yeah. after the other. After oh, they all fail. Like, <laughs> yeah. So. Oh my God! Are the explosions rainbows? Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Yes, they are. Some you guys, them. it's so pretty back here. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look. You can even, what? <laughs> you, can, you can even say oh, no, it's multiphasic in color. You could say that. invent cameras yet in this dimension world. <laughs> so you you jump up, you do that. Some of them they fall, they curl. Some of them Whoa. are the bigger ones. They fall, but they catch themselves on some of the trees, and they. It's really intense, and it's just raining these spiders as you look back. Just flaming rainbow spiders. Yeah, and then they got like the little tiny bateri. They're running, and they've got their masks on, and they're chasing after them. And you see this whole thing happen, and that is where we're going to stop today. Oh <laughs> <laughs> because A, I have to go to the bathroom, and B, I it's have to go, have to, go to the thingy. Yeah, so... Oh, I hate. I'm, I don't. No, I don't hate that I'm cutting it off here because no. that's hilarious. That's oh my gosh. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for uh, coming and playing today. Thank you thank for taking you. Um, me. A Misty's fun. place for the day. Yeah. I Misty. I hope you feel better. You sh better I'm, remind me to ask her to watch this so she remembers. Um, yes. And th and that was amazing that you put a tattoo on your yeah, chest so, so that cool. you matched her. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Thank you, Black Magic. Thank you, Flow Light. Thank you, Wormwood. Uh, if you want to order some Wormwood for your own, uh, put in the code Arcanite, and if you're in the United States, you'll get free shipping. We have the Flame Wood, Flame Ember. I don't remember what these are called. <laughs> flame Bark Elder. Uh, flame Box Elder. Yes. I don't know if you guys know what you have. I personally wood. like this one. This one's beautiful. I don't Isn't know that cool? No, it's I don't like have Cherrywood. And uh, Rosewood. Yes. Rosewood. Yeah. And I have the Purple Heart. Um, and yeah, so we're going to stop. I feel like there was a bunch of stuff I wanted to say. Oh, Gen yeah. Con? Huh? Gen Con? Yeah. Uh, first, don't forget to come back tomorrow to see what Rudy's gang is doing, what they've been up to for the past two weeks. Um, but yeah, we went to Gen Con, thanks to Black Magic and uh, Rudy and his dedication to uh, sharing how we do what we do with you guys. So it was really awesome. We actually got to hang out with some of you guys in the chat, which was amazing because it's hard. I think I know. I think I tried to explain it a lot while I was really drunk at the <laughs> Alpha party, um, how much I freaking love you guys and how you guys are a part of this and the whole thing's amazing and how amazing it was when Rudy was dungeon mastering live and we got to experience the chat room in real life. Dudes, Aww, like I can't even tell you. That's so like nice. you know how like when we laugh at stuff, but there was other But they were laughing, laughing too. Yeah, it was really that's cool. Really <laughs> great. And lots of people. Yeah. Laughing. Yeah. That's it was nice. beautiful. But even Aww. then like, you know, we went to the alpha party and it was amazing just meeting the people that like that that love the same game that we do. Yeah. And yeah, so thank you. It was awesome to meet all of you and there's going to be a lot more fun things coming. Uh, we are going to play the outro, and thank you, Dungeons and Dragons. I love you. Thank you. Bye, guys. See you next week. Hey. Rudy, you want to put the outro? <laughs> <laughs> We're good. Rudy's just. Rudy's being busy.